let's talk Joshua before we tail off. April, Wembley. In order of preference, who's it most likely to be in the opposite corner? Probably, I think, although Dillian White wasn't happy with the first offer, I think um, probably Dillian is the front runner still. I mean, I think we're going to get to a stage where an offer that I believe will be fair and he's getting a chance to win four World Heavyweight title belts. So I think Fury's an outside chance. That fight's there if he wants it, you know. And I think Wilder's just gone missing. I, I, it's just the, the most bizarre thing I've ever known. Yeah, it's so, so frustrating when you've got someone saying, um, oh, they're running from the fight. It's like, we just keep going back, improving the offer. Um, you know, putting percentage offers, added percentages, two-way fights, American fights. Like, uh, uh, we're not even getting replies. It's weird. So, yeah, probably White Fury, Wilder at the moment. And there's no chance that Joshua's next fight would be moved from Wembley and he'll go over to the US yeah, instead. A complete chance. change of direction. Yeah, there, is a there is a chance there. I don't mind that move for his career, you know? I don't think, you've got to understand, this is jo Joshua, he doesn't want easy fights, right? So he could fight anyone he wants at Wembley, right? We know maybe it doesn't do the 90,000, maybe it does 60 or 70, and maybe it does only 900,000 pay-per-view buys. But we're not looking to milk the British public. If, if those three fights aren't available, then Gerald Miller, a New Yorker with a big mouth, at Madison Square Gardens, sold out, is a big move for his career to exploit the US market. I like it, but I do understand that it's not his first choice and it's not the fans' first choice. But we have to deal with fighters who want the fight. It's all very well saying, I'll fight Joshua. You should put an asterisk at the end to say, for a shitload of money, it's unrealistic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because this is a high risk fight. Okay? So, and by the way, for Joshua, White, Fury and Mulder are all high-risk fights. And what, you, what is he getting out of it? For the White fight, he's getting a chance to have a fight with a bloke he don't particularly like, but he's risking it all. Right? For Fury, he's getting absolutely nothing. Oh, with the linear belt. <laughs> yeah. But he's getting a chance to prove certain people wrong, to say, you thought Fury was a top dog, that's me. That's nice. And for Wilder, he's getting a belt. So... That's the risk, but they're all risk for him. And for the other guys, it's a massive risk. Wilder loses his belt and all relevance. Fury gets beat and it's all over for Fury. Dillian White loses and he's back to square one. Massive risk. And that is why they want a shitload of money because it's high risk. I understand. But there's got to be that element of, yeah, but you're getting a shot at the four belts. I'm not saying you should take it for whatever money's offered, but like, if you want to be... like Wilder could be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. You can never take that away. That's legacy defining. No, hardly any people have done it. No one's done it with four belts. Fury could have the biggest British fight in the history of boxing. And again, he could get what Joshua might be getting, which is, and by the way, he makes a shitload of money. Dillian White gets a chance to win all four belts. All four. So, but it can't just be take whatever you're offered. We know that. And, and there's been great offers. In about a week's time, I will sit down, I will let everyone know the offers that have been made. Because it does piss me off when I look at people's just, oh, Joshua's right. I mean, mate, this geezer fights anyone. You know, I look at people like Lennox Lewis's comments. Who did Lennox Lewis fight after 22 fights? I think his 21st fight, his 22nd fight, was Razor Ruddock for the Commonwealth title. It's about as good as it got. Oh, he, he's running, he's doing this. Fuck off, mate. Oh, he should make, he should offer 70 30, 65 35. We've done all that. It's a, these people are men, mental. So, in time, I will say, I'll tell you what, you judge for yourself. This is the offer we made Wilder. This is the offer we made Fury. And this is the offer we made Dillian White. And whoever ones we take it, we won't give you that news. So but you're, you're going to go back, you said earlier, to Dillian White yeah, with a, a improved offer this week. If he comes back and accepts that, mm -hmm. Fury comes back and accepts what you so originally offered first him. Case, first come, first serve. First, so it, it's not who Joshua wants most or who you want most, it's just who comes back Correct. first. Correct. Joshua wants Wilder, Fury, White, Miller in that order. But if White comes back first, the fight's his. The only one who can't come back first, because if they had no official offer, is Jarrell Miller. Brilliant. So, well. if Wilder wants it, he can agree it tonight. If Fury wants it, he can phone me and agree it tonight. If White wants it, he, can, he won't agree it tonight, but he might agree it tomorrow. So, it's, it's there for those guys. Wembley, four World Heavyweight Championship belts. And a potload of money. Or three, if it's the other two yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Well, four, including w, IBO. IBO, yeah. So it could be five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Brilliant. Well, we'll wait and see. Okay. Have a good flight. Cheers, Danny. Always Cheers. appreciate it.